Okay, we're still in our L10 Start 2 document, and we have painted the tree trunk and branches using the paintbrush tool with a charcoal feather brush style applied to our selected paths. And with everything deselected now, let's go over to the brushes panel and double click on charcoal feather, and we see uh, that we're reminded we used an art brush. And so here are art brush options which can be changed. Each of the different kinds of brush styles has its own options. So the color graphics, scatter brush, art brush, and pattern brush styles all have their own options. Let's go ahead and cancel this one and let's lock uh, the artwork that we have here. We'll click and drag with the black arrow and select all that art and then go under the object menu to lock and choose selection. Okay. Now we're going to use the scatter brush to create the leaves on the top of the tree. Let's go over to the brushes panel and click on fall leaf. Um, but before we modify the, the scatter brush, let's go ahead and make a copy. So under the brushes panel menu, let's choose duplicate brush. Okay, And we'll double click on our copy and here are the scatter brush options. Let's change the name of the leaf to fall leaf new. And then, since uh, we'd like the leaves to be scattered more randomly uh, to make it more interesting, let's change each of these to random, and then go back and change some of these settings. Let's make the size from 40% uh, to 60%, and let's make the scaling 10% to 30%, and scatter minus 40 to positive 40, and then rotation minus 180 to positive 180. So the size is relative to the default size, the 100% size, that the artwork, the original artwork was created before it was dragged into, uh, created on the artboard before it was dragged into the brush, brushes panel and turned into a scatter brush. So the spacing is the distance between the objects uh, scattered along the path, and 100% means the objects are touching but not overlapping. Scatter refers to how far the objects deviate from either side of the path. 0% um, is aligned right on the path. And rotation is relative to the page. So let's go ahead and click OK right now. And um, before we draw paths with the paintbrush, let's go ahead and change the stroke color. So if necessary, hit the letter X until the stroke indicator is in the front and then go ahead and let's go to the swatches panel and maybe choose a yellow color. Now make sure that the um, stroke is yellow and the fill is none. And let's go ahead and get our paintbrush and with the fall leaf new style selected in the brushes panel, let's come over to the artboard and click and drag with our paintbrush tool and scatter some leaves about. Okay, now we'll go under the select menu to deselect. And then come back over to fall leaf new in the brushes panel and let's double click on that. And just a little bit more about the options here. Um, the colorization method is currently set to none which means the artwork looks exactly the way it did when it was created on the artboard before it was dragged into the brushes panel and turned into a scatter brush style. But uh, we see that we have other colorization methods, tints, tints and shades, and hue shift. Now, if we were using a calligraphic brush style, it would be simple to change the color. All we do is change the stroke color. But with the um, scatter brush, art brush, and pattern brush, you must choose one of these three methods to colorize the artwork, tints, tints and shades, hue shift. If you click on the Tips button here, you see an explanation of what happens with each of the colorization methods, but um, I encourage you to go to the Illustrator Help menu and look up the colorization methods because there's a really good detailed description of exactly what happens with each of the colorization methods. But for now, let's just click OK, and let's cancel this, but go back with, and get our black arrow and select all the leaves. So I'm going to click and drag, select all the leaves. None of the um, tree trunk or branches is selected because um, those objects are locked. And now let's go back and double click on the fall leaf new style in the brushes panel and make sure that
previous checked. Right now, because we have no colorization method, they, the leaves just look the way they did when they were created originally. But if we switch to tints, now we have a different look incorporating that new stroke color that we chose. And if we go to tints and shades, yet a different look. And if we choose hue shift, another look. So as I said, there's a really good explanation in the Illustrator help menu of what happens each time we choose one of these colorization methods. And you might like um, hue shift best here uh, because it shows the veins in the leaves nicely. But now that we've changed the colorization method, let's go ahead and click OK. Now it's going to ask us if we want to apply the strokes or leave them, and we do want to apply this, these changes to the selected strokes. So we'll click Apply to Strokes, and there we go. Now if we had wanted to change the leaves so some were one color and some were another color, uh, we could have just selected the individual paths and then changed the stroke color and then the colorization method uh, for the leaves on those paths.